the humans who ride in it. We had a chance to put the hybrid through its paces for a week, and obvious was the fuel efficiency. Considering this tips the scales at 4,700 pounds, the numbers are fairly impressive while operating on regular unleaded fuel. A peek under the hood reveals some very familiar parts. The 3.5 liter V6 engine and supporting electric motors check in at a combined 280 horsepower in this model year. Individual torque output varies depends upon which power plant is involved. The gasoline engine delivers 215 pounds of performance, while the electric motors range from 67 foot-pounds for the rear wheels to 247 foot-pounds for the front wheel. When put to the test, the response has a smooth ramp-up, and in stop-and-go traffic, it shifts to an all-electric mode with ease. The transmission is usually a six-speed gearbox. In the hybrid, it's an electronic CVT that also manages control of the four-wheel drive systems. We like the way it handled in a variety of driving conditions. The optional 19-inch wheels with four-wheel disc brakes, surprisingly nimble electric power steering, and clear sight lines delivered on the attraction of something that sits this tall. Interior noise levels in the limited edition are close to what you expect in a luxury nameplate. Considering the Highlander was originally conceived as a kinder, gentler version of the traditional SUV, this generation has grown up enough to be considered one of the adults in the segment. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.